got a place where we can easily unload everything and I'll go to the bathhouse. We still have to clear some fallen branches from there. Just to make everything a little bit smoother. This would be a great day to wear some shorts. Drink something cold. I'll definitely go for some iced coffee. So now uh, we're kind of clearing everything out. We'll have a permanent spot to come by, load everything up, everything's nice and clean um, until we get the bathhouse completely done. So yeah, he's going to be doing that, I'll be in the background clearing out some of the branches. the solar panels because we're gonna need those babies to perform at their best while we're here let me see if I can find it oh would you look at that <laughs> now I just got to use my sweat to wipe it nice stay right there just like that it's wet oh my god All right, come with me. Pull my pants up. Whoa, look at this view. Look at this view from up here. Woo. Wild, wild west. Look at those mountains. And here is the solar setup. Now we got to clean, clean, clean. All right. Look at the difference. Holy moly. our big level but we do have a line level that we bought it sits flat so we can also use it that way instead of just using the line we will use this in a line to make sure that it's level from here to the front um, but for now let's check this out right here pretty close where's it at it needs to go down on the right hmm. but it's pretty dang close it's level here Nice. Try. Look at it. Yep. I don't really have a spot to put it in right here. This is a flat spot. Oh wow, look at that. It's good? Well, it depends. But mostly, yeah, it looks level right there. But if you move it over here, it's not, but because this is not perfectly flat, 
but it's mostly level. Same thing over here, it depends on where you put it because of the surface rust. But right there it's completely level, and here it's not. It's we did a pretty good, good job for eyeballing it, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Lead time! Lead time. Oh, you pushed it with the box. <laughs> we have a gift in the mail, and we're going to unbox it. Let's see what's in the box. I already opened it, so surprise. Check this out. What we have, very nice presentation. You get a whole bunch of documents with a, in a Ziploc bag. Looks very cool. Here's your product manual. 12 volt, 100 amp. Here's a sign that tells you don't throw away this top part because here's where your post bolts are. These are the bolts that attach to the top of your battery where your terminals are gonna go. And here are the caps. And here we have the battery, very nicely packaged in a plastic container. Here you have two handles and you can just pull it right out. Today we'll be installing this on our trailer it already has solar, the hookups are already ready. We just have to put the bolts on here and attach it to the system. And we're gonna put this thing through the test. We're gonna have it running our refrigerator, all our lights, and that compressor while we use the nail gun for the, sh for the bathhouse. Let's put the lug bolts on. These are just hand tight right here. Actually, they're not even threaded. They just kind of pop out. Put those over there. Pull out our nice little bolts. We're just gonna put them on there briefly because obviously we don't have any connections at the time. Here are some specs. Minimum voltage 12.8, rated capacity 100 amps. Here we have the 100 amps, 1280 watts. This also has Bluetooth 5.0. Here's the QR code for you to download the app and monitor the, the battery. This is also a self-heating battery. So at low temperatures, you can use this battery. So if you're up north or in other places uh, around the world like Canada or in European countries, you can use this battery at all times. As opposed to the ones I have right now, they are not self-heating. They have the old school Bluetooth and these are so affordable. I cannot believe I can get two of these for less than half the price of one of my big batteries. I have two 200 amp, 12.8 volts. And each one of those was like 900 to like $1,000 and that was on sale. These are the affordable man's battery right here. We're gonna put it to the test today and we'll tell you all about it. We're gonna be working in here. So we're gonna remove this door temporarily so that we have access and the door's not in the way. We should have had it opening that way, but I kind of like symmetry. So this one's opening out and the other one's opening out in opposite directions. I might actually just make an acrylic panel to put it here. And that way we have visibly uh, a window to look inside there and we can just pop it out whenever we need to because we don't really need a door here but here we go what was that all about all right we got the door off and now we have the room here for the battery we're going to install it and then we're gonna start testing this baby out. Here's the battery, very light, very compact, cool handles to pick it up by. Operational by one hand, look at that. Put these babies down.
So the battery is installed and it is charging currently. Here's the app, pretty intuitive. You got the state of charge right there. It gives you an estimated amount of time till fully charged. And the only reason why it's uh, very high like this is because we just now turned on the refrigerator. So it's consuming some power until it gets the temperature and then the, then the refrigerator will come off. Here it tells you uh, the self-heating function. Obviously it doesn't need it at the moment because the uh, temperature is 62.6 at the time. And this is what the app looks like. So come see the refrigerator is on. Well, you can't really see, but you might be able to hear it if you get close enough. Hopefully you can hear. Well, I mean... Well, I can confirm, it's on. And one thing we didn't notice until now was, look at all these cool stickers. Let me know in the comments which battery you're going to get. There's a link in the description for those of you who are in the market for a battery. Um, they are highly discounted, and with the link in the description, you get a further discount. Hey, good morning. It's the next day, and here we are. The battery has been running all night. It's currently charging, and it's currently running our refrigerator, and it's going all the way out to our compressor and it's running it right now current state of charge is about 56 percent which is what it was yesterday when we started this whole thing but the reason for that is because we were using it all day yesterday using the nail gun charging our stuff with this port right here and that all runs off that same battery. I ran the refrigerator all night. I ran the compressor yesterday. And it's doing just fine. Affordable, reliable, easy. That's, that's what I like. Day three and the battery is at 89%. It is currently charging and it should be full in one hour and 13 minutes. Take a look. Sweet, let's get to work.